inside there we have here a 360 degrees camera this one is sold by gbd the new gbd wireless 360 degree panoramic camera it says 4k and use it as a vr as you see here it says 220 degrees angle you need an app 4k 60 megapixels photos so let's open it up let's see if we could get it to work all right you get some a manual here telling you what is the um, app you need to use all right so here we go you get the camera some straps different mounts so you can mount it in different ways one battery lens cleaner this is a mount also let's try to hook it up let's try to install it and let's try to download the app you could download if you have a barcode reader whatever you want if it's for android or for iphone so i'm gonna try that all right let me go ahead and check it out of the waterproof case So you have here the micro USB, you, uh, you have the HD out here, you have already one battery in here, so you got, you get two batteries. All right. Now SD card goes here. All right, let's get an SD card. Let's try this. All right. So I'm trying this out of the box. Let's see if it's charged. Power on. It says welcome. All right, I need a faster SD card. All right, when looking for a card, especially for 4K applications, you see here it says up to 80 megabytes transfer speed, but that's from the card read speed. You see what I mean? Read speed, 80 megabyte. But writing speed for taking pictures is only 20 megabytes. And this is gonna be a problem because most of the gadgets they write 40 megabytes per second so the best one would be this one here it, this one is writing write speed at 90 megabytes per second this one also all this high end so if you have it says 80 megabytes but this is this is just read speed that the computer could read it or or the gadget could read it at 80 speed but to writing on the card 20 megabytes per second that's not going to be enough that's why it's not going to be compliant um, so if we go to here just grab this one and grab something like that just check it like that so you see pro select this one will work with the um, 360 I'm recording a uh, 4k because it'll write faster to the SD card all right I have installed another SD card let's see if that one works let's go to Wi-Fi mode by pressing here it says password is one two three okay let's see if I find it Scanning right now. Action cam. Right, let me put the password. Connect it. Let me now go to the app. App right here. Action cam. There it is. You see me? 360. Let's see what footage we could get. So what's going on with the footage? Well, in order to take complete um, benefit of the footage, you have to use the app. This app here, the XDV360. Um, you have to also watch it through this app here. Um, it'll be very nice if the app, you could export from the app to upload it to YouTube and to upload it to social media like Facebook. That way you could see them on Facebook in 3D and or, or YouTube. Um, something very important. Um, let me go ahead and turn it on because this is very important. Otherwise it won't work for you. Remember that you have to 
you have to format the card from this device here how do you get to that over here you change the menu this button here that's the settings and this is the OK button. OK, you go there. OK. Um, I think you still have to now move to the settings here. With this button. Now you go down. Date. Format. You want to format. So hit OK now. There. Confirmation. Everything will be deleted. Yes, OK. So it's going to format for you. But it's going to insert a plugin for this device you know what I mean confirmation okay it's gonna do the plugin now you see TF card plugin so it's now the card is now ready to use all right all right I'm gonna show you how to put your 360 video on YouTube and in Facebook first you go to this website which is Kodak Pix Pro Americas, go to support, and down here, go to downloads, and then over here you have the software, and you have the app. So go to the software if you have it on a computer. I downloaded this one here for for PC. Download. After it comes down, just do the setup and open it this is it right here Pix Pro go to the disk here double click go to the folder where you have all the 360 footage and they're gonna appear here so you have some settings here like this one here if you see it's on reverse I shot, I shot this one upside down and it's over here like pointing up so I have to choose this one and you see how it changed if I hit play you see how it shows this is 4k footage and it will it will do it for you you could also calibrate it I mean let me hit stop calibration and just make sure that the footage is outside the red area. There. There you go. So, if you hit play it again, then you're not gonna have any dark spots. You know what I mean? So, this is how you do it. So, from here, from this point, you hit share, and again here, you select how you how you did the footage, you select it right here. Select the maximum. And if you want YouTube or Facebook. There you go. Um, make sure you see the next video that has some samples of all this footage that I have done. All of this different footage that I have here. So as you see, you could film it with this up. You could film it with it down or you could film it with it sideways like going forward. Like I did on this one here. This will be ready for YouTube or Facebook. Subscribe to my channel. Watch out for the video that comes next to this one so you can see some samples. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel or um, give me a helpful vote in Amazon. All right. Thank you for watching.